What's up, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New TW. So we're now into October. If you're not spending your weekend sitting in a tree stand, now's a good time to be out on the water. There's not a lot of people out there, so you pretty much get the lake to yourself right now. First up, for new products, so we got a bunch of crankbaits. This is one of the best times of the year to be out running the bank and cranking, looking for fish. First one here from Lucky Craft. This is the new uh, LC 0.3 square bill crankbait. As you can see, it's a tiny little crank. This is for sure gonna be a spinning rod operation. It only weighs about a tenth of an ounce, but what an awesome little crank, especially around this time of the year. How many times have, have you been to the lake and just seen seen the bass gorging on little half inch, one inch size shad. So this is gonna imitate that perfectly. And it's just gonna be a fun crankbait to throw because you're gonna be able to catch pretty much anything on this crankbait from bluegill, crappie, uh, bass, whatever's out there is gonna eat this little guy. Um, it only runs a couple of feet, but if you're looking for a really small crankbait, you know, give something to a kid, or you just wanna go out and have a ton of fun and catch a bunch of fish on a really small bait, that new uh, 0.3 is gonna be the way to go. Another one that we're super excited about. So Lucky Craft is bringing back the 2.0 LC square bill crankbait. So we got this in a silent and uh, the DRS, the deep rattle sounds as well. Um, what's cool about this 2.0, it's not much bigger than a 1.5, but the great thing about this 2.0 is it's a lot more buoyant than a 1.5. It runs a little bit shallower than a 1.5 and you're gonna be able to go through cover, especially like logs and uh, roots and uh, you know cypress knees and things like that, this crankbait is gonna do a lot better job of that because it has the extra buoyancy. It's gonna deflect really, really well off wood and other types of hot, hard cover. So if you're looking for a crank that's just a little bit shallower than a 1.5 with that, that added buoyancy and just give you a little bit more snag resistance, that 2.0 is gonna be the way to go. Now, if, you're, if you want that body, you wanna go a little deeper, We've also got the new 2.0 XD. The XD lineup of cranks has been one of my favorites for a long time. I hope someday they bring that 3.5 back, but uh, so we got the 2.0, um, you know, small body crankbait. And I believe this thing gets down to about 12 to 15 feet. So you're getting it down there pretty good. Um, and the way they do that, it's got a lot of, it's got a few weights up here in the head of it. On this ghost minnow, you can, you can see all the weight that they've got loaded up in the front of, the, uh, front of this bait. And then uh, that wide build, it's got a really steep angle on it. So this thing dives quick, gets down there. Awesome crankbait for fishing, you know, just that, that around that 12 foot mark, gonna get you a lot of bites, really loud rattles in it. So it's gonna um, cause a lot of commotion between the knockers and the BBs in there. You kind of get two different pitches in one. Awesome crankbait by Lucky Crab. Make sure you check out all these new cranks from them. Next up from Excite Baits, we got the new XB1 DD crankbait. So building off their XB1 lineup, the original XB1 is a square bill, and now they got something that's gonna get you down around six to eight foot. It's got a little bit longer, it's kind of a hybrid build design. It's not fully rounded off and it's not fully squared, but it does have like a, like a flat lip to it. So you're gonna get that nice wide wobbling action, but this is gonna deflect off cover really, really well. Again, getting to that six, foot, um, that six to eight foot range, Got you know, it's silent, so it's gonna be more stealthy approach. Sometimes right now, this time of the year, can be tough to trigger bites, and sometimes you gotta tone down that presentation. Silent crankbait's the way to go. Um, really nice triple get, treble hooks on there. They got some really cool paint jobs. Uh, you know, this thing's ready to fish right out of the box, and it's only $8.99, I believe. So you're getting, you don't have to upgrade anything, ready to fish, you're getting a great value on that one. All right. From Tackle HD, we got the new Tackle HD leech. So I know fishing with live leeches is a really big deal up north for a lot of smallmouth anglers, especially. Um, I had some buddies that, uh, that are from Ohio and all they talk about is fishing with live leeches. Um, Tackle HD is giving you pretty much a lifelike replica of a leech. Um, we got them in a couple colors and they're only $3.99 and you get a 24 pack of them. So you get a, get a ton of baits in there, but great for like a drop shot, small Carolina rig. You can even put these on a little Ned head, just change it up a little bit different. Everyone typically throws little three, four inch worms when it's stuff. Change up your presentation and you know, mimic those leech leeches if you got them in your waters. All right, new box from Bass Mafia. We got the new Casket 3600 2.0. If you haven't checked out these Casket, uh, these 2.0s, we have them in bigger sizes as well. Uh, with the 2.0, um, what's different about these from the original version, they are about 20% thicker, so they are more durable. Um, you're not gonna have uh, problems with these chipping or breaking or 
things like that when you throw them in a uh, throw them in your boat and they're rattling around they're not going to bust on you. you got the o-ring gasket on there so fully waterproof four latches great box on the inside i believe they have 20 dividers in there and they're all pre-cut already in there ready to go so you don't have to sit at home and cut all your dividers out you can just customize it as you need to and you can only get this box at tackle warehouse right now till uh till next year so if you're looking for that 3600 size casket we got them covered and you can only get them at tackle warehouse like i said till the end of the year all right a few new glasses from costa so we got the the costa del mar untangled series just came into stock so these actually won the best to show at iCast 2021. And the Untangled series, what they're doing with these glasses is they're taking some of their popular frames, but they're making the frames out of recycled fishing nets that they get out of the ocean. They teamed up with another company. I believe they've removed like 3 million pounds of fishing nets or you know some crazy amount, something like that. And that's what they're making these frames out of. So buying yourself premium set of glasses, they have the 580G lenses in there, which is one of the best fishing lenses uh, ever created on the market and you're helping out you're helping out the environment in a little bit as well so awesome glasses you know helping out the ocean and uh and you're getting that coaster quality all in one shot there all right last up we got a bunch of new pro series signature rods from favorite so with between all the guys on the pro team i believe we got 11 or 12 different models of rods this first one here the goat this one's designed by andy morgan this is his signature flipping stick and it's kind of an extension of the pro series line to seven six heavy but with his years of experience and how many tournaments that guy's won and how many years he spent flipping, he put exactly what he wanted to into, the, into this flipping stick. It's got a nice soft tip, so you make those really accurate flips and pitches, but it's got a lot of backbone, but it does have kind of a parabolic bend to it, and that's to get those fish out, but keep them pinned when you're trying to fight them to the boat. Super comfortable, really powerful flipping stick if you're looking for a, a new flipping stick. Another flipping stick they got, it's actually in the Hex series. This one's designed by Mark Daniels Jr. A little bit longer. This one's a 7.8. It is extremely light in the hand, and it is in their Hex series, which has got that proprietary uh, blank technology. It's a hexagonal shape. I believe they use three different materials that are woven together in this blank to, to make it the way it is, and it's super, super lightweight. One thing he did on his is he did put that bigger grip on there, so it's a real, really wide grip. So when you're Hammering on fish flipping, you got a little bit more in your hand, a little bit more power. The last one I got here is Brian Latimer's uh, six stick. This is his 7.2 medium heavy. He's actually got three rods out. Um, this rod is kind of his vibrating jig rod, and you can also throw kind of your medium diving cranks with it, like your, your 10, 12 foot diving cranks. This is actually a glass composite rod. And kind of some of the things that he changed up on his rod, he did change the grip on his, uh, different from the original six stick. It's more comfortable and you get a lot more blank contact as well. Uh, moved his keeper down here, but um, overall like, you know, the blank the, with the amount of tip and the bend that he's got in it, it's perfect for throwing vibrating jigs and then your small, you know, those uh, around those eight to 12 foot diving crankbaits. But like I said, there's a bunch of different rods in all these new, in all the new favorite pro series. I believe you got rods from, uh, from Zach Burge. Uh, JVD, there's a few others in there. There's a whole pile of rods. So make sure you check out all the new favorite rods um, in, the, in the signature lineup. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New in Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase the products seen here today, make sure to click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.